Hi guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, drawing Bugs Bunny since uh, we're going to do a bunny themed art because Easter is this weekend. And I thought it would be a good one. So um, I just got the YouTube video, Draw Bugs Bunny Face, How to Draw in Five Minutes to Use to kind of help me. Um, so they started off with a uh, kind of the top of his cheeks, which is kind of a swoopy line that comes up and like that. It does the same thing on the other side. It just swoops out to the side like that. And they actually do like a little diamond shaped thing there. And then under that, I'm going to do a kind of a rounded W. It's kind of like two U's connected together there. And under that is going to come down his teeth. a line that goes behind like that. So then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, the bottom part of his cheeks, which kind of do these ziggy zag lines and then kind of swoop under like that. Same thing over here. there and then he has a uh, necklines that kind of tapers so it starts out thicker and gets thinner as it goes down like that and he has a very skinny neck these cartoon characters and then we have uh, right here there's a couple of little lines like that and then at the top of this cheek a little bit inside of the middle the high point inside of that high point right about here we see a pupil. Now that sticks up pretty high, comes back down, and one on the other side, about the same place. I do my best to make these symmetrical. I can get that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm going to color in the inside of those black. And then there's uh, a line that goes from way up here down like that and like that and then we have the same thing over here there so now we have the top of his head which there's a little bit of a, like a curve that goes right over the top of the eye. It actually does that in the other one too, right? Like that. And in between that, we have some like hair that kind of sticks up. Over here, we have a line that just kind of goes in and then swoops out and connects there. And over here, it's going to do almost the same thing. It's going to kind of, this one just kind of swoops out and touches right there. There. So there's his basic head. And I'll stop the video and I'll return in just a moment. Okay, so uh, I found out that I wasn't going to have room for his ears. So even uh, Mr. Matt makes mistakes. So I actually had to redraw him, leaving room for the ears. So don't make that mistake. Uh, make sure Bugs' head is toward the bottom of your paper so you have room for his ears, because his ears actually stick up really tall. So you're gonna start from kind of the top, the bump, the little upside down U shapes that are over his eyes. And it kind of goes like this, it goes up out to the side and then kind of curves up, comes over the top, kind of down like that, and then kind of follows that curve down to there. And then we have a line that goes like this. And then a line that comes off of that. And it's going to follow this outline all the way down to the bottom like that. There, there's one ear. 
Now I have another ear here. It's gonna go up, swoop in, and go like that, and we want it to kind of come like that. And then this outside one is going to swoop out here. that does this and then we have a line that does this there there's Bugs's ears uh, so the last thing to do to put some finishing touches on this is to uh, add some whiskers so three on each side so just Three, and one, two, three. And that is the drawing part of this. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty much done with the coloring part of this. I added a little caption that says, ah, Happy Easter, Doc. And uh, I used mixed media to color it in. So I used a gray color pencil because Bugs is mostly gray and white. A little bit of pink in his nose. And I used a pink marker I used for the inside of the ears and the nose. So I'll just finish this. Um, make sure when you're coloring with a colored pencil that you try to keep even pressure so you get the same tone of whatever color it is you're putting down. And uh, when you're done, it's always nice to sign your work. There it is. So, happy Easter, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon.